Our labels are actually really easy to use and drop into the panel that you want. Uh, there isn't a lot of work involved in bringing them into the panel. So those few questions where you wanted to add one, two, three, you know, more colors in, this isn't, this is going to work on whatever instrument that you have. Yeah, so we've worked with experts in the field of conjugation chemistry to develop a kit that enables you to add um, any of our labels to any antibody that you have of interest. So within a couple days, you're ready to start running your experiment. So we've worked with a leading lab at the NIH to, to take a look at our technology and our fluorescent labels versus everything else that's out there. And you know they've shown that you can actually separate populations like one of the highest performance labels that's already in the industry. We've got the lowest spread, the lowest contribution of error into other channels. The other um, advantage that our technology brings to the field is enabling the researchers to have more uh, robust data because we have these brighter signals that give us cleaner flow data. I'm really passionate about immunology. The first experiment that I got to run here was a 35 color experiment. I mean, imagine the kind of work you can do. We're pushing 40 plus colors and really able to take an existing panel and drop in our floors and ask new questions. One of the things that gets me incredibly excited is the way that we are working together with our customers to push the envelope. So the first example of this would be detecting small particles that have never been detected on a flow cytometer before, or detecting a very, very low number of antigens that are actually on a cell surface, low number of molecules. And the third one would actually be you know, running the largest number of colors that's actually been run uh, on a single cell before in our field, and then sharing that you know, with, with the whole field. Well, I see tunable brightness being able to open up an area of research that's currently un unattainable right now. If the molecules that you're trying to study are below detection limits, then you can't study them. I'm working with a gene editing company right now, and one of the things we're able to do in terms of looking at what our customer needs is really tailor for their experiments. So if we need to make something brighter, we can do that. If we need to make it fluoresce in a certain channel, we can do that. And so it's been great working back and forth with the chemists at the company as well as translating that for what the customer wants. When I think about the future, I think about all of the different fluorescence applications that are out there and that could benefit from our labels. Whether it's high throughput screening or simply microscopy, every single one of these applications needs brighter, cleaner labels in order to push the boundaries of high dimensionality.